Ah, the buttons are stuck on my super expensive multimeter. What should I do? Well, if I was the previous owner, I'd sell it for cheap on eBay. Thank you so much, stuck buttons. But it's still a problem, still needs fixing. And there's something wacky about the Keithley keypad that made me want to record this. Usually this is a straightforward repair. Uh, you just take out the blister pad, uh, you, rinse, you wash it, you rinse it, uh, you dry it, you put it back in, and it's right as rain. But the Keithley keypad is uh, between glued layers, not screwed layers, not snapped layers, glued layers. So I wanted to record that disassembly and reassembly in case anybody uh, had some palpitations about, uh, about doing surgery on their $4,000 multimeter and getting the keypad to work again. Right, let's see what we can do about those push buttons. So lots of a they look like they're at least, at least gold plated. That's always a good sign. So hopefully they, uh, they also spring for the, what is it, tellurium copper that has the, um, the low thermal EMF. Yeah, I'm sure they did their homework. All right, now to get into the screen. <laughs> Cool. So, oh, that was the um, that was the the knob. Is what that was. It's been a thing. Oh, they've got the potted, <laughs> potted front on there. That's fine. Cool, cool. Nice, uh, nice construction. And here we have. We'll see. We have the um, the foam front, glued, to the circuit board. No blister pad. Fortunately, I came prepared with a uh, the, the garrote wire. <laughs> and it looks like they give you they give you a lot of wire. Um, so after you're you're done repairing your uh, your multimeter, you can uh, kickstart a uh, your career as a as a hitman. How thoughtful of them. Cool. Yeah, how many years is this, does it say? Qualified Made in Walter? Made in Walter? Oh good, the display assembly looks super sturdy. Woo! There we go. And there it is. The display assembly. Brutal, brutal, all that glue. Yeah. And now to clean it. All right, now that I've got it apart, uh, I can walk through the, the layers here. So the frontmost layer is uh, not actually plastic. It's actually, it's, it's completely rubber. And so I thought it was foam earlier, but I think I was just looking at the side and the side was gray. 
I thought gray, you know, it's foam, but no, no, the, the whole thing is rubber. And so that's actually good news because it means that when you're peeling it off, um, since it is solid rubber, it's, you know, it's got a bit more sturdiness to it and you can peel pretty aggressively and, uh, um, and, and swipe at the glue with an X-Acto knife. Now, originally I thought that I was going to be able to get through the glue using um, <laughs> the little cell phone, uh, uh, cell phone adhesive slicer thing, the, the, the girl outlier. Um, that that didn't work. That was uh, that was trash, um, because there were uh, there was some little contact posts that ground the display here, and those need to those poke up, um, and then also there are some rubber, um, little rubber. Let's see if I can, can get this into the, the field. Little yeah, little rubber uh, poke throughs, alignment registration things that um, uh, that that register the display to the uh, to the circuit board here. Now. I just went ahead and I, I've cleaned the circuit board, so this looks this looks relatively uh, relatively nice. You can see in the reflections. However, it was not it, you know this was all covered in adhesive. I think they probably have a machine that cuts out um, the adhesive in the exact shape that will uh, that will go everywhere except um, you know the the holes and the buttons, and uh, and then they put that on and then they smash the two pieces together, and that adhesive just isn't strong enough to. Um, to, to remain in one sheet, and, and so it gets all, all torn when you try to separate it, and it's just a complete mess to clean up, and so I've spared you from that. Um, but uh, it is a complete mess, and this is a, a really laborious process, and if I had to do it again, I might not. I might just live with the, the buttons being a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit sticky. Um, and then the third layer here is the, uh, yeah, the hard, the outer, uh, the plastic outer part, and then and then we've got some sheet metal to uh, to provide backing to everything and, and screw it all together. Um, cool. So so those are the layers, but in particular, this is the interesting one because I guess often the the construction is to have um, a, a rigid plastic layer and then buttons that are on the flexible membrane that pokes through. Um, that's really nice. I love that construction because you can just take the uh, take the buttons uh, the button membrane out. You can you know throw it in the dishwasher or something and clean it right up. Here, that's uh, that's not the case because the whole thing is one gigantic rubber, and uh, separating this from the circuit board it is glued to um, is just a huge pain in the butt. In any case, that's um, that's the construction, and hopefully that information is helpful if anybody else uh, wants to do something similar. All right, I made a printout on my vinyl cutter. This is just a double-sided adhesive pad that's been been cut out with the, the knife uh, the knife cutter on the vinyl cutter. And um, I'll put the, a PDF in the, uh, in the description below. All right, how'd I do? Touch screen still works? Nod still works? Moment of truth. Oh, I don't even need to hold the device. I can just uh, just touch the buttons. Beautiful, beautiful. It's fixed.